New details about Halo Infinite has been revealed by 343 talking about the battle pass system, armor cores for Spartan customization, new power-up mechanics, as well as ordinance drops within BTP and how those work. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So the Halo news keeps on a trucking guys like we mentioned in our previous video on Sunday that we, today we had the multiplayer overview when it comes to Halo Infinite released by 343. So this is in a official capacity. This is legitimate, actual, hard news. Provide some very interesting details about the new battle pass system coming for Halo Infinite and a whole bunch of new mechanics that we've never seen before in a Halo game. So I want to give you guys all the highlights from this video. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. You guys want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as it ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite. And make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So let's start off with some of the new information and then we'll go into more granular stuff that was showcased within this video. So the big thing is the new battle pass system within Halo. We've never had a battle pass before until MCC, which that one's completely free. With this one, since multiplayer is gonna be free to play, there is ability to play through this battle pass for free, but you'll also have a paid version as well. Now, battle passes were essentially confirmed a few months ago that we covered in the Inside Div Infinite development update, talking about seasons, seasons in a shooter, basically confirmed the battle pass without literally saying it. But Halo Infinite's battle pass system will be working very differently compared to other battle passes in other very popular games out there. This clip from the video explains exactly that. A Halo battle pass will never be taken away from you. And what I mean by that is once you buy it, it's yours and does not expire. In future seasons, you can purchase old battle passes as well as the current battle pass and choose which battle pass to put your progression towards. So each battle pass will not be going away with a new season, which other games out there like Call of Duty, Fortnite, Apex Legends, literally every other battle pass does just that. And then kind of gives you like this FOMO, which is fear of missing out kind of effect, which they mentioned previously in development update, which we covered on the channel that that's what 343 does not want to give it to their players. So it's gonna be very interesting how that works out. Now he does mention you can go back and purchase previous ones to progress through which is gonna be a very interesting thing so maybe the current season pass you can actually play for free unlock your content that way but if you want to go back to a previous battle pass that maybe like say you're technically you're like in season five for example and you want to go unlock things in season two it sounds like you might have to buy the previous battle pass to be able to make progression through that but you can also select which battle pass you want to make progression through as well so this is probably the most user-friendly battle pass system in any multiplayer game out there right now, which is great to hear from 343. Yes, microtransactions suck. They're not fun, but you know what? If for a free-to-play multiplayer, it's kind of a nice balance between the two. And I think this is definitely the most user-friendly, the most consumer-friendly model they could possibly put in the game. Though I would like to see a free ability to be able to select, say, if you're in Season 3 and you want to go back to Season 2 or something like that and grind through that one free, then I would like to see that. But maybe you just want to keep the current season available for free players because obviously it's a free-to-play game. You need to make some money off of it, right? Another thing that they mentioned within this battle pass, which kind of leads us into our next topic, is customization for Halo Infinite. They mentioned about in the battle pass that one thing is the armor cores that we're going to have for Halo Infinite. This is a brand new customization options that we've never had before in a Halo game. So you remember that samurai that we saw at the end of the multiplayer trailer? Well, that's an armor core. So it seems like what's gonna happen is that there's gonna be these different kind of cores that we have that are basically like a default blueprint of what your Spartan looks like. We have the Mark VII as well as various other cores which will actually showcase on the Halo Infinite website. So here we are on the Halo Infinite webpage, and this is what we're talking about for the customization that was showcased. So you have the armor core, which for example here is the Mark VII Olympus, but then you can see you have coatings, you have the helmet, visor, left shoulder, right shoulder, gloves, knee pads, and also you have a helmet attachment you can customize as well for your armor in Halo Infinite. But keep a look at the armor core, right? So we select the next one. So this is an Olympus Mark VII. Go to the next one. This is a Mark V Reach style armor core, which looks very different from the Olympus as well. You can see from the undersuit, 
it's very different and also just like the general shape of a lot of the armor pieces are very different as well we also saw this showcase in the december update way back then where you can take a look at this spartan hair looks very reach influenced right keep an eye on the thigh armor and the crotch armor be bear with me on this one and also the body piece and stuff like that so in the leg pieces as well very different armor set compared to this one right here so this is what we're talking about these armor cores it'll be kind of like a default blueprint that you can add on to to kind of customize however you like so these different armor cores and armor customization you can see right here definitely lends itself to the probably the most customizable halo experience we've ever had now we only see reach and also the olympus set being showcased right here but they mentioned that the samurai armor is also going to be an armor core so we'll be seeing new armor cores with each new season or just throughout the seasons as we move through our time play through halo infinite with halo infinite being free to play and customization being a huge emphasis within this game that's pretty much going to be the driving force for monetization within halo we're going to see a lot of options when it comes to armor permutations and different armor cores and different colorations and things like that so this is going to be the most customizable halo experience we've ever seen before. This next clip I want to talk about is the equipment and also the power-ups that we will be having in Halo Infinite. This one clip showcases a really cool use of the repulsor, which almost acts like a super spring jump in a way, and also how you can utilize the OVS or camo or anything else like that at your own time. It doesn't activate right when you pick up, and if you kill somebody with it, you can actually pick up that OS and or camo or anything like that. So that's a really cool, interesting part. This is what they mentioned about it right here. How the power-ups play, like your classic power-ups, like the overshield and the active camouflage. For this title, what we're looking at, what we're excited for, is you pick that up and you choose when you activate it. It goes into your inventory. If you haven't used it, and someone kills you in multiplayer, you drop that overshield and then they could take it, use it for themselves. That to me is very legacy, but we took the equipment side of it and modernized it. Well, that's actually like an incredible change. I really like that as well, because how many times have you heard someone say, oh, they burned camo or they burned OS? So I think that's a really great upgrade, honestly. They also go into how actually Jeff Seitzer's voice that might be a little bit replaced by your multiplayer AI. Jeff Seitzer is still there, though. He'll be doing the main big play announcements like flag captured, flag taken, stuff like that. But you have your customizable multiplayer AI, which will give you more detailed announcements Another thing they talked about is the ordinance drops within BTB. Now we know about the leak of from the club world talking about a BTB 2.0 with ordinance drops and things like that called in from Pelicans. Well, that's not exactly the case. It seems like these ordinance drops and also these Pelican drops are more just like in a more immersive way to bring in spawned vehicles rather than just like popping into existence. They have like an animation that they're dropped into the level or they have a pod that comes from the sky that opens up to drop you know, power weapons for you guys as well. So it's not like Warzone or anything like that where you go to a console, you type in what you want and it spawns in for you or something like that. It doesn't work like that. This is more just kind of more traditional style of weapon spawns, vehicle spawns, but just a more immersive way of doing it. Community manager Unicheck actually replied to someone on Twitter just to do some clarification on how ordinances work. Because last time we had ordinance, we're basically killstreaks from Halo 4. That's not the case in Halo Infinite, saying that they are not killstreaks if that's what you're concerned. The ordinance drops line is just referring to cool new delivery methods for vehicles and weapons in BTB. Another thing I want to point out is the reticle for the battle rifle has changed actually between the trailer that we saw yesterday for the multiplayer and also for this multiplayer over. The, the picture you're looking at right here is from the trailer. You can see it's much more like a straight line crosshair kind of thing, but in the recent overview that we had, it's much more of a classic style crosshair right here. So obviously there's a little bit of a discrepancy and the user Mandy McD says, what's up with that? Which one's the real crosshair? Unicheck actually replied to this saying, it's all pre-release, so it's all subject to change. But I believe the right one is more indicative of the final intent, meaning that this one is probably more like the classic reticle that we'll, we'll likely see for Halo Infinite, which I'm kind of all for. I mean, I don't really care too much about the radical differences, but this one just like looks a little too minimal and doesn't really feel like a Halo reticle, where this one obviously 
feels like a halo reticle. Here's another freeze frame from the video that was posted. Again, you can see the red outline feature that we have now in Halo Infinite as they have removed red versus blue or just team colors in general. Now you have these outline colors to replace that just to give you another visual of what this actually looks like. Interesting thing I want to point out here, guys, is the Wraith. We get to see this in action, which looks amazing. Interesting thing with the turret gunner, you have a little bit of a shield here now. So when you slow it down here, you can see that the guy in the gunner seat of the turret does have a little bit of shield, which is nice because I've never really liked being the gunner because I've always felt like I'm just out in the open getting lit up pretty easily. Honestly, this is actually a very welcome change in my opinion. So that was kind of all the information really, at least, at least all the new stuff. A lot of this kind of did cover a lot of stuff that we really talked about on this channel, de in-depth discussions, but this just kind of captures everything in one official place for everyone to get on the same page so we all know this information. But I covered everything that we learned within this video. So if you guys want to stay up to date with Halo or miss any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen and here I'll link to all my news and informational videos. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.